use of a positive test in the Scotland camp, especially coming so close to the Euros starting. If you'd ask for any special um, precautions to be put in place, any special reassurance, because obviously you don't want any positive tests so close to the Euros starting. No, of course not. And yeah, hopefully, uh, uh, yeah, the Scottish Federation uh, managed everything very well, and there's no possibility that uh, they will contaminate uh, one of our players or the other players in, in Scotland's uh, squad. So I have the confidence that it will be the case, and, uh, and yeah, that, that's the only thing that I can uh, say about it. But it's of course it's it's very sad for the, the guy himself, but. Uh, yeah, we have to take care of that for sure. Final Steve question. Clark. Scotland is for Andy Devlin. Sorry, Mark. Hi, and Frank. then we go for the final question Hi. in Dutch. So two more, that's it. Hi, Thank Frank. Um, just uh, I could ask for your, your, your own memories from your own time in Scotland and which players in the Scotland team, current Scotland team, do you admire? Well, you know, I'd, I was only uh, you know, four and a half months there and really I had a fantastic uh, time uh, I had the possibility to, to play one year more, but uh, yeah, I promised myself and my brother that we go to have a soccer vacation in Qatar. And uh, but I had a fantastic time, and uh, especially I admire the fans. You know, especially when you play the old firm, uh, the, those tension in, in the stadium, and of course that was the time that uh, Celtic had a, a fantastic uh, squad. Before I came, of course, my my brother had uh, a fantastic uh, squad with with Rangers, and yeah, I have only good memories about uh, Scotland. Good, thank you. And then for the last question here in the zaal, Pascal, ga je gang? I think I saw your hand as well. Yeah, Frank, I was going to ask. Um, obviously, Scotland have got England and Croatia and the Czech Republic in their group. Uh, what chance do you give them of qualifying from that group into the knockout stages? Well, you know, of course, maybe they are not the favourite, but what I already said, you know, uh, they've proven that they're, it's, a, it's a good squad with talented players, also experienced players. And, uh, you know, you, nowadays there are no easy uh, yeah, teams to beat or nations to beat. And uh, they have a good organisation. Uh, they are not playing, you know, really, uh, you know, with, with an open trap or, you know, that uh, they're going to try to attack. attack. No, they have a, a solid uh, base and from there they try to, to score goals. And uh, I think it's difficult to, to beat them and also the system that they play. So uh, uh, we, we're going to try that uh, tomorrow, but uh, they are not favoured, but still they have a chance, you know, to, to come to the, the next uh, round. That's for sure. Thank you. We'll switch back to Dutch for the moment. Willem Vissers. 